Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is the 1914 Project, episode 47 of this Football Manager 21. Alternate history save. Trying to make sure I get all the right words in there when I get that word, get that sentence out. Anyway, we have made another transfer and we've spent some money on this one. Um, up to 21.5 million right, with some fairly reachable goals uh, is Amir Amar Dedic. He's a right back. Um, he's not a super crosser of the ball, but he is a good defender. Uh, 16 tackling is very nice. Good decisions, great pace and acceleration. Um, he's just a good player all around, and I think he's really going to be a really going to be a useful player for us. He's already, as you can see, got himself a goal and an assist in the uh, four games he's played with a 7.57 rating. So yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Anyway, that's the only other player we got in. So unfortunately, we were left with 25 million in the, in the transfer budget. We'll see what happens in the, in the winter. Maybe I'll find a way to spend it, but it's okay one way or the other. I don't need to spend it. It's just a matter of, you know, wanting to make sure I've got the best team I can put on the field. You'll notice that Dirk Dinger takes over in gold today, and that's because Christian Kalina took himself a little bit of an injury. And when I say a little bit, I mean he's got a hip injury. He's going to be out three months. So... Dirk Dinger is going to get his chance to play. Um, Johan Chalin will... Or... Chalin? I have no idea. I'm not good at Romanian. But um, he's he's okay. But I think um, Dinger is the better goalkeeper. So hopefully he's going to be up to the task of um, shepherding us through the Champions League for a few months. Uh, whether he is or not, that's going to be who gets to do it. So today's team, Dinger, behind Dedic, Chalus, Blavro, and Nicolotti, Franic, behind Duvniak and Bulat, Bulat getting the attacking role for a change in midfield, Streletz, who's played very well, Fechner also very well, Divkovic played very well, Hlozek is on the bench because he's been playing like crap. He just cannot seem to do anything so far. So, uh, I mean, I'll show you his. Yeah, look at this. Just 7, 6.7, 6.6. It's just getting worse and worse. He hasn't scored. It's, it's yeah. We'll see how he gets on, but Divkovic has been much more effective. As you can see, the three of them have got a goal between them, so you got to like that anyway. Let's see what we can do here. We're playing Zenit in our first match of the Champions League. Um, our group also includes Juventus and Young Boys from Switzerland. So it's, it's, an, it's a possible group. I think we've got a chance of making it through. We just have to make sure we beat Zenit. That's going to be the thing. That's why I'm showing you that tonight. Go out there and impress me. I expect a win tonight. Let's say impress me. Uh, I did almost nothing. If it did anything at all, I didn't see it. I know I can rely on this at the tone. Yes. Duvniak will perform today. Yes. He's doing fine. There's my team. There's their team. Nobody I recognize. Zenit or Zebra Juventus beat Young Boys already. But now we get to play Zenit. Peterburg. I think it's actually Peterburg.
Hmm, Blue Knight's looking tired already. A couple of others have joined them. Getting some shots away, but not really anything interesting in the way of highlights. Lots of possession. Captain's taken himself a yellow card already. Hmm, nine shots, ten shots, but no highlights at all. What is going on? Why is it that every time I show you a game on YouTube, it turns out to have no highlights? Oh, that's really painful. Um, I'm going to say you've been unlucky so far, and there wasn't a lot of agreement, and some guys are nervous. All right, let's try a little face on the nervous guys. Oh, we got one of them. Dead Itch is excited about it, even if the goalkeeper isn't. Kalus, back for Michelotti. Michelotti. I really have to look at my corner set up because I have some guys in strange places. Oh, nice try, Strelitz. But not quite on the net. Which I think really sums up our night. Nice try, but not quite on the net. And now they're just playing it around us. Come on, let's have some tackling here, boys. That's better. Get your butt in there. Or your foot or some part of you. Oi, got a bit lucky there. Hmm. I think we're going to turn it up to pauses out. See if we can get some offense generated here. That's not a good thing. Yeah. That's not a good thing. All right. Time to turn up the intensity. Let's proceed with tactical changes. I just did it after the goal. Why wouldn't I want to keep them after the goal? That's not helpful. Why are we losing this game? Come on, guys. Divkovic is having a rough one. We'll bring in Hlozak and see if he can do something useful for a change. And Bulat is not having his best game ever. And Dudnyak is pretty tired. So we'll have Gergic come in. See what we got there. Come on, boys. Nice one. Dead itch now. Brings it forward. Can he get around his man? Not quite. But he does get the ball. The girl gets back to the. Oh, dead itch. Oh, what a save! My goodness. Ostrich absolutely leathered it, but what a stop. Flozak back for Michelotti. In low for Flozak. Ostrich again back at Michelotti. Knocked down again. Is Ostrich, can you get there? Can you get there? Come on now. Michelotti. Fechner, nope. Wow. Getting all kinds of chances here, and we're just not putting any of them away. Ugh. Finally. Oi. We just couldn't keep getting that many chances and not putting one away. That was nuts. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was...
is tough. Let's see if we can get a winner now. Oh, Strelitz. That would have been a good time for one. This would be a bad time for one. Okay. All right. Good, good foul, Mikulati. That's okay. Head it over. And that's probably going to do it for this game. That's too bad. I really wanted us to win this game, especially at home. Come on, Dinger. He oh. <laughs> finally plays it. Look at the difference in XG. Oh my goodness. 24 shots to 6. 24 shots to 6. 9 to 2 on target, and we end up with a draw. Over 2 in the XG, and that amazing save with the goalkeeper. I gotta say, you're unlucky. I, you guys may not be upset, may not be happy about it, but you deserve to get something from the game, so that's good, but not so pretty. Um, yeah, Champions Cup Group E. So you can see for sure we've got Young Boys, Zenit, and Juventus. So it's going to be a tough group. If we couldn't beat um, Zenit at home, then I'm a little worried about our ability to, to compete in this group. Um, we'll see. But Dinger's going to have to do the job because he's he's the only one we've got now. Well, I mean, we've got Kalen or Chalin or whatever his name is. But I don't have any... Um, I don't have any other goalkeepers than those two. So, where are we going to come back? Where will we come back? How about young boys? We'll come back for young boys at the Wankdorf. Wankdorf. And, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be good. We've got some interesting games between now and then. St. Bruton has been playing really well. Dinamo, of course, or Dinamo, and naturally we've got Juventus in there as well at their stadium, which is just going to be a tough, tough match. Anyway, there we go. Let's hit the save button on this one. We're going to say the things we say as we come to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great day, and take care.